Hey, 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 welcome to another Valley Forged. So I got an S1. Uh, Xtool sent me this X1 20 watt. I have already made several videos on it. And uh, I do recommend right off the bat that if you're going to spend the money, get the 40 watt for most people. Of course, do your research. But I just feel like between the difference in price, you could just do so much more faster with the 40 watt. Um, some of you may be saying, well, if you have the 20 watt, how do you know what the 40 watt does? Um, I know. <laughs> I have been reviewing these diode lasers for quite a long time. I know the difference. And they are all relatively the same. But I have enjoyed the 20 watt X tool. Um, I will go over. I'm making a project. You know, I have a show coming up. I think a lot of you know that. And I have made so much stuff. Uh, and now that I have the X tool, I figured, hey, I've got this layered project I need to make. I have signs to make, you know, little ones. I might as well just get started because I'm somebody who actually uses these lasers for business and for, you know, it's not, I'm not just a reviewer. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm coming from a place of work. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you if do not, well, in my opinion, do not do layered projects to sell. Uh, in general, that's a terrible idea. I wanted to do this layered project because uh, I'm going to a cherry blossom festival and I always do something a little bit fun. I mean, last year, this meme was kind of all the rage. So I did, I had, I found this Japanese version on uh, Etsy and I printed these out, put them in frames and everybody stopped and took pictures with them. And it was, it was really good. So I decided I am going to make this this year, a layered project. Now this is actually nine layers, I believe. Well, I, I okay. This is a, a, a seven layer project and I have never used the S1. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you know, let's do this. Let's see how easy it is. And I think this is going to look great for the show. It is uh, Nezuko, I believe. Uh, it doesn't even say that on here. It just says uh, girl anime layered. <laughs> So back to what I was saying, uh, I, you know, I don't recommend selling uh, layered projects, especially seven layers, because you think about everything that has to go into this. Um, I told people about last year that I made these coffee signs, you know, they're like four layers and everything has to go on perfectly. And you have to pay for four layers of wood. And if you make any mistakes, cost more And that I had to paint the layers. Now, the, for this, I used most of the layers were uh, already colored MDF that I got from Craft, Craft Closet. Uh, link below, they have a variety of colors. And so I could use most of those. But if you add it up, it's going to be pretty expensive just in the wood. And then you've got all the cutting time for each layer. And the gluing it together and making it all perfect, it's just not going to be worth it financially probably to do a whole bunch of these. But to do one that you could put out and show, I, I think that's really cool, especially because it's really fun with layers. And if it's just something you want to make for the house, you know, maybe make for the kids or something. Always nice to make layered projects. So I'm new to all this. I'm new to the S1. So what am I going to do? You know, first thing I'm going to do is I already know that uh, Clack Shack and Vintar already, already have these machines. In fact, the reason why I wanted to get the S1 was because Vintari said this is one of his go-to machines. So I said, OK, let's try this out. I've never used it XCS. Uh, I'm a Lightburn guy, so uh, I know it works in Lightburn, but... XCS is their proprietary software for X tools. So I'm going to check it out. So not only did I learn how to uh, set up XCS, but I also learned how to set up my X tool right here with this video. So I'm going to leave this in the description like I did with my uh, first impressions video because it's going to get you started. And even if you're going to use Lightburn with your X tool, uh, you're going to first want to set up XCS because that's going to get your updates and blah, blah, blah. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about XCS that I do not like 
is once in a while you are going to get an advertisement and it looks like you can do not disturb for seven days but you know this is my computer my software i do not want to be getting stuff popping up if you want to put it over in the corner fine but i'm you know just my own feelings but it was super easy to set up everything was already ready to go as soon as you know i didn't have to do anything able to start right off the bat um you know making sure that everything was working right it was it was good it was really good i am xcs is very simple to learn a lot more simple in my opinion than lightburn and uh, great for families you know the teaching kids or whatever but because I'm a Lightburn guy, I immediately wanted to jump over to Lightburn. So what do you do? Now my machine's set up. I go over to Clack Shack and I see he has a video X Tool S1 Lightburn setup and use, which I'll also put in the description. So I jump over, I watch this video, I notice that he says. So he immediately shows me over here on the right hand side how to set up the focus and the offset and all these sorts of things goes over that. Um, the firing light, which I like to use personally, uh, turning on the laser fire button instead of using the crosshairs. This is what I use. So you can watch the video. He also mentioned that it was at the time, you know, you set up these layers. You see, I have two of the the air turned off over here on the right. Uh, you can see that. And then I have the air on at, for the cut. And uh, at the time when when uh, Clack Shack made the video, this was not working properly. But it is now. I can tell you it is working great. The auto air is working just fine. And I was able to easily uh, make my little you know price tags that I'm gonna need for my show coming up and at first I tested out and just made sure that uh, I could I'll put a bigger picture of this but just making sure the belts were adjusted right and everything so I put circles in squares and things like that just to make sure everything is exact all the way around blew me away how perfect that was now I don't know if it's gonna be this clean with the 40 watt it is with the 20, though, exceptionally clean. 20 watts has always been nice for a combination of nice engraving and uh, cutting. I primarily do cutting, uh, but this does look absolutely beautiful. So the lettering looks really nice. So I knew that I was ready to work. So I went ahead and I made the signs. They came out great. Uh, pretty much exactly the settings that I would use for a 20 watt laser worked perfectly. So I think, OK, I got these prices done. Now, uh, what am I going to do? You know, one of the other things that I noticed, though, uh, is the boundaries that I got from the X tool site. It just they didn't seem to match up perfectly. So and the other thing about the honeycomb bed, you know, can move around. So where setting it up where exactly those boundaries are, it's going to take you some trial and error in light burn to finding exactly, yeah, where the laser pointer goes, where everything is, uh, which is one of the nice things about XCS because you don't have to do any of that. And also you see here on the panel on the upper right hand side. Now, every time that I want to autofocus, which I love the autofocus, by the way, I love it. It's the only autofocus I've ever actually wanted to use. Uh, but you have to come over here and hit the focus button. So it's totally possible that I take this out and I put it somewhere else so that I always have this focus in mind. Uh, I'm sure there's ways to do it correctly that, you know, would be great. Put it right here or something and then have the cuts and layers. I'm just used to using it the way I'm used to using it. So I did forget to focus a couple of times where I never not once failed to focus in XCS. So, yes, I was able to use it fine. I decided I'm going to go ahead and make this seven layered project in Lightburn. And I just kind of froze up because I didn't know exactly where the borders were. Uh, I wasn't I didn't feel super confident in doing seven layers of something right off the bat in Lightburn on the S1. And 
I am saying that you absolutely can do it. And once you get everything dialed in, it's not going to be a problem. But I only had one shot at this because I only had one of each color of the type of wood that I was going to cut out. Uh, so I couldn't make a mistake. And that made me a little bit nervous because am I going to forget to hit the focus button or, you know, is it going to go off the side and just, you know, I would have to redo it, right? I can't. So I decided to go back over to XCS. Now, I'm pretty used to using Lightburn, you know, so the fact that I didn't feel comfortable, even though I grab machines off the shelf all the time, I get machines sent all the time, uh, I rarely have trouble and feel uncomfortable. But when I switched to XCS, I instantly felt super comfortable. The framing is so easy to do. Changing everything was so easy to do. Just ch change it from engraved cut here. Uh, they have an easy panel where I was able to just set my speed. I know what the speed is for a 20 watt laser. And I knew it was going to cut out fine. And it did. And it cut out perfectly. And all I had to do was do this same exact thing over and over seven times. And that's what I did. And it worked great every time. Now, the nice thing about this is that they do have materials already here on the right hand side. And you could say, oh, I'm going to be using walnut plywood or basswood or whatever. And it's going to give you the settings for that. The autofocus is right here. So all I had to do is click this button and I'm not connected. Um, and it was done and it worked every time perfectly. You can see the framing is up here on the right hand corner. Uh, you can also get through it through the process. Now you can't start any jobs until you physically touch the button. So for some of you, that's going to be positive or negative. My machine is back there in the kitchen. So I have to literally get up every time. But I like to do framing and watch it frame. So I'm going to watch. I'm going to be getting up anyways. But there is a little bit more hand holding when it comes to XCS over when you use Lightburn, uh, which is a great thing. Like I said, if you're teaching or family or you're a beginner, uh, that's super, super nice for me. I don't always need it so much. You know what I mean? But it, it seems like a nice basic software. Now, I like to do all my designing and making and everything in Lightburn. I, don't, I, I have Adobe Illustrator and things like that, but I don't like to do things in one program, bring them into another. But I think that would probably be ideal for the uh, XCS. You could just design wherever you want to because you're going to have a lot more tools I should say you're going to have less tools in XCS for doing all of your designing. Now, there is some things here. I am a beginner for uh, XCS, so I am not going to come off as any sort of expert. But you can just tell right away it, it has less features. But it works so much better, in my opinion, for the S1. It's like they're just, as I said in the other video, it's like they're meant to work together, and they are. It's also got a lot of extra things that you could easily get to. These are, you could generate your own AI and stuff like that. I'm just seeing that. That's a lot of fun and it does make it easier. But you will have to sign up to Xtool Creative Space. And, uh, you know, I'm already signed up, but I don't want to have to go through that thing again. Uh, but there is a lot of AI images and it's going to be a lot easier. Say you just want to say, you know, man arguing with woman over a video or, or something you're doing. Easy to make. You also saw at the pop-up screen, uh, there's lots of recommended projects and other uh, projects that you can buy straight from Xtool here. Uh, lots of things that people, other people have made. So you do have that community. And I'm sure with Facebook, you've got, you know, so many users that uh, can help you and you collaborate with you if you have a problem that you can get to. So there is a lot of benefits to using XCS. Uh, that's not quite probably going to be so important if you're just running a business on it. Although I do see some tools here for doing exactly that. So again, I can't come off as an expert in one way or the other. This is kind of, you know, I'm new to it. 
but I have enjoyed it quite a bit. This has been a lot of fun getting to know the S1. This is the first X tool that I have ever worked on. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun and I hope to do it more. Now, I have said already, I mean, I have the 20 watt. It's not quite as useful for me because I run a business. The 40 watt would probably be a little bit more useful uh, when it comes to doing that. But uh, it is great. And uh, I ha yeah, it w again, it works both in Lightburn and in XCS. But I'm going to say if you're looking to buy this machine and you don't want to work in XCS, uh, maybe another machine might be better for you. Um, but of course, do your own research, look into this. Um, as I, I showed you before, both Clack Shack and Vitari, Vintari have videos on this, uh, laser, check them out, check out everybody's video, uh, videos on it and, uh, make a good decision. I just kind of wanted to make a video for people who are just getting, maybe just thinking about buying it, just buying it and where you would go first. If you want to check out Lightburn or XCS. And I, I think I've accomplished that. I hope I've accomplished that. Uh, let me know in the comments, uh, you know, what you think and maybe what else you'd like to know. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Love y'all.